Are you a marketer juggling content creation with a never-ending list of other tasks? Jasper AI claims it can help you create high-quality content fast, but does it actually live up to the hype? Today, I'm breaking it all down to see if Jasper deserves a place in your marketing toolkit. Welcome to the AI Breakdown, the channel where I review the latest AI tools so you don't have to. I'm Ben Wright, and today we're diving into Jasper AI, one of the most popular content generation tools on the market for marketers. So what to expect in this video today? I'll be covering Jasper's main features, showing you what it can and can't do, reviewing the pricing plans, and finally rating it out of 10. By the end, you'll know if Jasper is the content solution you've been searching for, or just another shiny tool that doesn't quite hit the mark. Let's dive in. So this is the Jasper AI platform that we'll be running through today in an effort to review it and show people exactly what's possible inside of the inside of the platform. So what you're seeing is the experience that you're dropped into once you um, sign up for Jasper. Jasper does offer a pretty generous 14 day free trial for any plan, which enables you to dig in, try it out prior to committing to purchasing. And so for the purpose of the demo today, we'll kind of just run through the overall experience of using the platform, obviously the content creation side and how easy that is, because that's the, the main purpose most marketers will use or, or anybody will use this platform fundamentally. And then we'll also dig into at the end, some of the pricing and packaging, how much would you be paying? You know, is it monthly, annual, et cetera. So let's start by just showing you a little bit about the platform. So they make it really easy to create content. You can even just type in what you're looking to do today at the top. And as you scroll down, they do have specific kind of playbooks for you to run. So again, if you're a marketer and you're looking to come in and create a battle card, for example, right? Or if you're looking to come in and create a blog post, they already have it set up and they call these apps. And so not only are you able to find what you're looking for fairly quickly, but dive straight in and create one. So I've just selected there, create a blog post. And what you'll see inside of all of Jasper's apps or kind of, you know, workflows is a very easy kind of setup and creation workflow. So again, for the topic of this blog post, we are going to do how to create a YouTube channel. So that's going to be the first prompt and really simple. We've just typed it in. Who's our target audience? And it already does some, some of these easy suggestions, right? So they're just making it as simple as possible to even create your first blog post. So let's just do aspiring YouTubers. The outline of the post, we're all set up, add more information and let's just do, and like I said, I put an SEO there. So what are the SEO keywords that we want to target? So let's just do, and it, and it again, suggest it, right? So even if you're not sure, it's going to suggest some stuff. So YouTube SEO, video content strategy, channel optimization. Let's just use those. You hit next and we go generate now. And it's literally going to write it in real time in here. And off we go. It's already generating. And as you can see, it's the Jasper bot that is creating these blog posts kind of live for you inside of the platform. So it will go ahead. It will just start to write. And again, with a lot of these things, especially if you want like a robust blog post, you can kind of step away from your computer whilst it starts to write. But if you want to watch it live and it's kind of cool to watch it live, you can, you can also do so. It will start to write. It will also have these kind of little suggestion boxes that, that pop up with better kind of creation steps. And I really like this just from a, a product and a UI standpoint, because not only is it writing the content, but also telling you, you know, additional things you can do in the platform and additional selection. So as it's writing the blog post for the first time, it's also teaching you how to use the product, which is, which is super cool. So once you're kind of all done with your blog post, you know, it's going to be you're going to be good to go. We'll stop generating it for now. And it is created, right? It's, it's, it's done. Once you've created it, you can also share your document like you would with a Google Doc. So if you want, you know, additional team members to contribute, you can get them involved. You can do light editing inside of the platform as well. Check for plagiarism, word count, all the stuff that you'd usually see in a Google Doc. So for a blog post creation, as you, as we've just shown you in the first kind of four minutes of this video, super easy to do. But that encompasses the whole range of that. And again, this is all encompassing from a content creation standpoint. That was a blog post, but as we look in here, right, you can do landing pages. We can do social media campaigns, Facebook posts. And again, let's just dig in and show you 
one other form of, of content creation, which is the, the Facebook post, right? So for this, let's just say, so again, just enter it in really simple, generate now, and let's see what it, what it produces as a, again, really simple, right? Like all we've asked it to do is create a, a Facebook post, but especially if you're a busy content marketer and Facebook is one of many things that you do, you can just create this and, and get going. From a select voice standpoint, like you can add different voices. So basically you can add in your company's URL, website, etc. And so for this voice, we'll just do a test voice. I'm going to enter on the company I know, SendSpark. I'm going to create the voice. Basically what Jasper is also going to do on top of generating content, it will analyze your website to see how you speak or how your content is created. And so you, from a brand awareness, brand guidelines standpoint, it's going to make sure the content is consistent with, which is, you know, very important for a marketing and brand awareness standpoint. It'll ingest all your website information and make sure that content's spot on. So really simple, like I said, really, really simple, easy to use tool. Even if you have interns or people that are new to marketing, even they can figure this out because it's simple, click, enter a few lines and create your content. They also have really, uh, a really good knowledge base and chat functionality. And so like, again, let's say you're brand new, you've got a newbie and you want to ask them, like, I want to plan a social media campaign. It will, it will actually give you overviews on the type of content, how you should structure, et cetera. So content creation, make sure it's consistent, um, and also provide you with very tactical content for you to create as well. So that's the, the overview of the tool. Like I said, for anybody looking to do content creation, it's, it's really easy, lightweight, spot on. Let's dig in and actually see the, uh, the pricing. So as I mentioned, 14 day free trial on both the creator and the pro plans. You can do monthly or annually. Man monthly obviously is a little bit more expensive, annually reduces it slightly there. But fundamentally, the, the pro plan will give you one seat and, and $69 a month, which works out at a 28 per year. Um, you do get three campaigns included and AI image and image generation and editing tools. And then the, the single user plan, again, like in my opinion, the $49 plan doesn't really do much to be totally honest with you. I think the only value you'd get is out of the $69 plan. And then fundamentally, the other kind of fallback or, or negative about the Jasper platform is a lot of the stuff that I wanted to use and test out and try. And we're only available on the business plan, which doesn't give you any pricing. You have to talk to sales about it. And obviously that includes like some more definitive like playbooks that you can run. So I was trying to do like a, a LinkedIn marketing campaign, unable to do it on the pro plan, have to go to business. So that's a negative. I think it can get pretty pricey. I mean, $69 a month is still considerable, I'd say for a single user especially for AI generated content. So like I said, really good platform, really solid, really easy to use, but on the whole, um, I'd say very expensive for what it is. So for any marketer out there, it's definitely going to help you. And if you've got budget, great. Um, but there are other tools that I'll be reviewing, which do similar things and are cheaper. So that's my review of Jasper overall good tool. I'd rate it seven out of 10 for marketers. So if you've got budget, use it. But if not, I'd say that you're going to find it a little bit more expensive. So there you have it. My honest take on Jasper AI. Overall, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. It's definitely one of the pioneers in AI content creation, and I love the simplicity and user-friendly design. But for the price, there are definitely some more affordable options out there that might be worth considering, especially if you're on a tight budget. If you're a content marketer looking for the right AI tools, stay tuned. I'll be reviewing more tools to help you make smart choices and maximize your marketing impact. So if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up and check out my other reviews on the AI breakdown. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.